Hey, it's Bruce Naylor, your Boomer Consumer, and today we're going to be reviewing the Bose TV speaker. This little speaker, this little sound bar, packs a heck of a punch. As a disclaimer, I paid for this sound bar with my own money. No one has reviewed this video prior to posting, and all opinions are my own. Now, if you want to pick one of these up for yourself, I have the Amazon affiliate link down below. They sell for around $249. Sometimes you can get them for a little bit less. But let's go ahead and take a look at this soundbar. So I'd like to begin my videos by talking about who this soundbar is not for. If you're a home theater enthusiast, you're looking for like Dolby Atmos or surround sound and you want that earth shaking type bass environment, this soundbar is not for you. Who it's intended for is people that maybe have a, a TV in their bedroom, den, home office, looking to greatly improve the sound quality of their television. That's who this soundbar is meant for. Now let's talk about the specifications of the soundbar. First off, it's relatively compact at 23.4 inches in length. It is 2.2 inches in height and then it's 4 inches wide. And I have it sitting comfortably underneath my TCL 55 inch television. It just blends right into the background. Now, I had some difficulty, but I believe I found that the power output of this speaker is 35 watts. It is a two-channel soundbar. So you have a left speaker, a right speaker, and there's a tweeter in the middle, and that is what is included with the soundbar. It does support Bluetooth. I believe it's version 4.2 as well. Now, as far as inputs are concerned, there's an HDMI ARC input. There is an optical audio in input. There is an auxiliary input, and then there is a bass output, and that will work with the optional Bose Bass Module 500 or 700. So let's cover the unboxing of the Bose TV speaker. First, you're going to get the soundbar itself, and then there is a optical cable that is supplied, the power cord, and then a user guide. And that's what's in the box. Very simple. This is a Roku-ready soundbar. So simply plug in the ARC HDMI connection and your TCL or your Roku TV will take over and set it all up for you. It's just like magic. Now, if you're not familiar with the term ARC or HDMI ARC, that stands for Audio Return Channel. Taking a closer look at the inputs, there's your HDMI ARC, your optical input, your auxiliary in, a service port, the base out, and then the power plug itself. On the back of the soundbar is your base port and then your inputs. On the bottom, you have some rubber feet and that's pretty much it. On the top, just the Bose logo. And in the front, you have your speaker grill and indicators for both TV and Bluetooth. So this is the Bose TV speaker remote. It's rather small, but I just wanted to cover some of the functions of this remote. This is your power off and on. This is your input selector right here. You can have your HDMI ARC, your optical audio in, and auxiliary in, and you cycle through those with this button. What's ever connected and working first or is turned on first, that's the one it's gonna to default to. Volume up and down. This is your Bluetooth button, and then your bass control. And to change the bass up or down with the soundbar, simply press and hold, the soundbar will flash, and then use the volume up or down to control that, and then press bass again, and then you have it set. This is your dialog button, and then mute. Also, it doesn't use AAA batteries, it uses a watch type battery, so keep that in mind um, with this remote control. Now, setting up with Bluetooth was very simple. You simply press and hold the Bluetooth button on the remote. The speaker bar will flash a blue light, and then it will show up in your mobile device as Bose TV speaker. Hit connect, you'll hear a tone, and that's it. It's very simple, works beautifully. Well, the proof is in the pudding, so they say. So here's a couple demos, one of it playing directly from my TCL TV. Have a listen. <laughs> The next demo is using Bluetooth to play music back with the soundbar. So 
what are the pros of the Bose TV speaker? Well, first, the compact size is absolutely, uh, you can use it just about with any modern television and slide right underneath, mount it however you wish. So the size is definitely a pro to this. I think the biggest seller of this soundbar is the dialogue mode. How many times have you listened to a movie or TV show? Say, what did they say? What was that? Because uh, it wasn't clear because maybe the voice kind of blends in with all the background noise. The dialogue mode is what sold me on this soundbar. It's Roku ready. So if you have a, like a TCL or another TV with the uh, Roku operating system, it will set itself up for you. And the sound is great. Look, I'm going to be very honest with you. I went to a audio store and they had about like 20 different soundbars all set up on display. This one, the TV speaker, uh, they did not identify. I know it was Bose, but they did not have the model or anything else. And I compared that with some JBL, some other Bose. There was Klipsch and a few other brands. And I actually like this one better, especially in the dialogue mode. So what are the cons? First off, for the 250 bucks they charge for this thing, they don't include an HDMI cable, which is ridiculous. It should come with one. There's no Wi-Fi connection on here. Can't really use it via Wi-Fi for Spotify or other applications. You have to do everything through Bluetooth. There's no Bose app that will work with it, such as the Smart uh, 300 soundbar, the 500 Series 700. Nope, none of that. There's not even virtual surround sound. Not that that's a big deal. Now we're using this soundbar with the TV in our bedroom. And so we're really not interested in Atmos or surround sound or all that. We just want a good, clear sound. And we wanted to be able particularly to hear the, the dialogue of the movies and television shows that we've been watching. And with my old soundbar, it was always a bit muffled here and there because of the background noise, etc. This is really the selling point of this soundbar. I can't stress it enough. Bose really knocked it out of the park with this soundbar. I couldn't be more satisfied with the use case that we have with it. Yes, there's going to be more high-powered soundbars, and yes, you can get more for your money with other brands, but this particular soundbar has a really good niche in the marketplace, and I urge you to listen to one for yourself. Bruce Naylor, your Boomer Consumer, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.